Okay guys, I've seen a lot of people in the comment section in my last video having trouble with the files reading on the USB stick. So I'm going to do an update video right now just to go into more depth about what you really need to do for the files to actually read on your USB. I did think at first I would need a 2.0 because it's not compatible with the ports on the Amiga 500 Mini. I was wrong. 3.0 will work, 3.1 will work. All you have to do, guys, you have to make sure your USB is FAT32. Not EX FAT or whatever that one is. It won't work. It's not compatible with the system. When you click on property, you should see something like this on your USB. And you'll see file system says there, like on my screen, FAT32. Now, once, that's it, once you have the FAT32, make sure your USB is formatted. Okay? Now, I, on the newer systems, FAT32 doesn't exist. So you have to find another way to format your USB stick to FAT32. I use this program here. It's called, it's called Ease US Partitions, as you see there. And that is like an old software which will format any USB to FAT32. If you want me to show you how to use it, just leave a comment down below. Okay, so once you've got your FAT32 USB flash drive, you want to stick it into your computer and like in my last video I left all the links down below it will take you straight to where you need to download everything first off you want to download this file it's called the A500 now you got to listen carefully here you have to extra you have to extract that file so basically you have to unzip the raw file and then you would get a folder like this yeah don't worry about this this is just extras then you're going to need the whd load now that is for the games yeah that that's the they're the files that will read your games so you're going to need that so they're the only two files you unzip. On that same website, if you want, you can get bonus games, but that's just that's just optional. But what you really need here, like where my mouse is now, you're gonna need the, the A500 and you have to unzip it. And then where I direct you to get all the games and stuff, you're going to need that WH load. And for the WH load, I'm going to leave a link for that. So once that's done and dusted, you go and get your games as per usual. You'll click the link in the description and it will bring you to um, the whole library of Amiga games. Now, this is where it can get confusing. It's best to leave the games RAW files as they are. Do not unzip the game RAW files. Just leave them as they are, like how you see here. So on your USB stick, it should look something like this. Don't worry about that. That's just optional. But the main thing you need are the, are the A500 folders and the WH load folders. And it's as simple as that. Once you put all the games that you want in the raw form and you have them folders in the unzip form, you just plug it into your Amiga 500 Mini, which I'm going to show you right now. Right, there we are, 800. So as you see it there, it has the, the raw file. Let me bring it up a bit bigger. And it will form into that once it's unzipped and the same will go for the 
for the WH file there. And I will leave a link for that in the description down below. So they're the main two that you need. And then I'll leave a link to get the games and just stick them in the root of your USB and don't put them in any folders for now. I don't, I don't know if you get too many games, you might have to put them in categories, but just to get yourself started, to just make sure it works, just follow these steps that I'm showing you now. So main thing guys, or it will not read in the Amiga 500 mini, FAT32, not EX FAT, not NTFS or whatever, it has to be FAT32. Right, I'm gonna stick it in the Amiga to prove to you that it works. Okay, so now I'm on the Amiga guys. We lower it a little bit. Once you're on the Amiga, the icon for your USB will look like this. You just click on it and you should no longer get that QR code thing coming up. And this is what it should look like. Simple as that. So yeah, basically at the top you will see system volume information. Then you should see the A500 games and the A500 um, yeah, just the A500. Like I said, the A500 games is just optional. It's just something you don't really need because you can even you can get them games anyway by doing by going to the website through the archives, and then you see this WH, WHD load, and then your game should look like that. Once you know that you're on track is when you see the LHA um, listed in the game folder on the side there. So you should see the initials in the folders of the games. And then they should work. Let's just try Barbarian, the first ever game I ever saw on the Amiga. Oh, you just you press home to start game. Like. Let's try this one. Something's happening. I think we're in, guys. Yes. So that works. So a couple of buttons change the aspect ratio. And I press press home button again. It should teleport me straight there. So how do I actually start the game then? So I'll start the game with menu. Okay. So to start the game, you press menu on your Amiga 500, on your Amiga 500 mini controller. Plays all right, to be honest. So there you go, proof is in the pudding guys. That video I did is true. It's not a it's not a fake. It's not clickbait. <laughs> it does work, but I think a lot of people are trying to do it with the wrong format on them on their um I don't like the way you change the aspect with the button. But yeah, it's the wrong format they're using on their USB stick, guaranteed. Oh, you just
just jump on it, jump on his head as well. Look. Yeah. So these ROMs are up and running in all of his glory. It's not a prank they're pulling on us when we're downloading all them files, guys. So that's Flink working. You can see. Okay, so once I go home, I can go back here. And then I can just select another game. So I hope this helps. And if you like the video, guys, give me a thumbs up. Even better, subscribe. Till next time, see ya.